Graceland fam! Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Jacqueline. This is not my jungle. It's David's car, and if you're not new here, thank you for coming back. So, we're in David's car. We're not in my car, in case you guys didn't notice. And in case you didn't see my members only upload, I know obviously if you're not a member, you couldn't watch the video, but um, you still can at least see like the title and the thumbnail. I was up in New Hampshire last week and I got into a car accident. I'm fine. Everybody's fine, but my car is not fine. <laughs> so... I don't have my car and I probably won't have it back for a while because apparently they're just like super backed up, uh, my insurance company and everything. The mechanic has not even looked at the car yet and it's been like almost a week since the accident happened. So that is why we're in David's car. Thankfully we have two cars so everything, you know, is not ideal but I have a car, he works all day anyway, so he doesn't need it during the day. Um, so it's fine for us to share the car for right now. It's a bummer because I like my car better than his car. <laughs> Obviously, I love the comfort of my car, but we're gonna be in his car again for a little while and we may also be potentially moving in a few weeks. So everything's just a little bit chaotic right now and um I'm probably not gonna have my car back until I move so there is that but anyway we're at the Home Depot you guys I just wanted to give you a quick little update for those of you who weren't members or aren't members um because I just I do like little life update videos for my members like once a month or every other month or so um as a part of their perks and um, that was unfortunately the stuff that I had to share <laughs> this time around. But obviously I, I planned on telling you guys, I'm not going into as much detail obviously, but um, yeah, that is what happened. Everything is fine though, I'm fine. Mentally I'm definitely like doing better than I was before. I know you guys like saw my community posts and stuff where I said I was just kind of like having a hard time. Things things have been a little bit chaotic, a little bit overwhelming, and then the accident on top of it just kind of put me in a bad headspace. We went to the reptile expo because I wanted to look at snakes to in an attempt to make myself feel better, and then David bought me a hog nose. We haven't named him yet, but he's so stinking small and he's so stinking cute and like things are definitely turning around for the better. So hopefully that also means that this Home Depot is going to have some good plants for us to look at today. So we're in Manchester in case I didn't mention that, Connecticut, and pretty soon I'm probably going to be telling you that we're in Manchester, New Hampshire, which is freaking weird, but I'm excited stressed out, excited, and let's go and see what they've got in stock here at the Home Depot in Manchester. It's been a little while since we've been here, and then we're going to hop over to the Lowe's across the street and see what they have. So I apologize for the really long intro, but like I said, I just wanted to give you guys a quick little update for those of you who didn't see that or haven't been looking at my community posts and all that stuff and let you know that things are okay. I'm good. Everything's good. Everything's being taken care of. And um, hopefully I have more good news for you guys soon. So let's go to Home Depot. All right, Home Depot. Don't disappoint me. Maybe they won't have super loud copyright music either and we can actually like chit chat. They still have this giant Makoyama, but all of the, this was the first place we found like the Tordums and stuff like that from Proven Winners. So it's not looking like they've really replenished any. This Moonlight is cute though. I still don't understand this plant. Like I, I like it when it's in its green form, but I don't really like it in this Aurea type of situation I just don't I mean and I there's I feel like they're sitting here for a reason because people probably think they're sick they have this alocasia Friedeck. not looking her best but honestly you cut back like these sad leaves and she'll regrow in no time she's got 
a bunch of corms and two huge rhizomes in there, so there's hope for her still. I feel like I always come when they're like in between stocking, so there's really not anything. This allocation mellow is looking really beat. Everybody's already picked through the good stuff, it seems like. There's not a ton in here. Some ferns, these sad little lipstick plants. $15.98, yeah, this is old stock. You can tell by the prices now because the new ones are $16.98. Even the golden pothos looks sad, which is difficult to achieve. This lemon lime maranta is looking all right for $15.98. There's some heart leaf philodendrons, a couple of ferns, neon pothos for 20, a couple of cute little ficus shivrianas here. These are also 20. What are they calling them? Ghost rider? That's cute, I guess. Never seen that. Elastica is one of my favorite of the ficus, though, because it's <laughs> the easiest. This one has some nice green splotches on it. I like it when it has more darker green on the leaves. Very cute. Very cute. I'm not mad about it. I know not everybody's into ficus, but I like them. I have pretty much every one that's available on the market, including this burgundy. Some sad bird of paradise, but you know I have to check it. If we get this place in New Hampshire, you guys, it's big enough that, uh, and we'll have bright windows, that I can bring uh, my bird of paradise over finally from my mom's. She's been hanging on to it for me for the last two years, keeping it alive, because I didn't have anywhere to put it in our apartment. Oh, this poor money tree. Girl who ate you. What happened to you? I love their new little leaves though. They're so cute. I think they're so underrated. I love my little variegated one too, obviously, but I think the green one is also really beautiful. Some regular green ZZs over here. Fiddle leaf figs hiding. The usual floor plants. Lots of Monstera. I have to show you guys, uh, I still haven't done my January favorites video. I gotta film that for you this week because I've been super behind, but I was gonna show you, I'll give you a spoiler now, my sport variegated Monstera that I found at Lowe's a little while back, put on a new leaf, finally, and it does have some variegation, so I'm excited to show you guys that. Um, a couple of sad bromeliads over here. Some leftover anthurium. I almost bought an anthurium um, plant story yesterday and I had to tell myself no because literally about to move and I really just don't want to be moving with more anthurium. I'm already stressed out because we are potentially moving a lot sooner than we anticipated. We weren't going to move until spring, but we found a great place, so... You know, sometimes life just happens. Purple waffle for $9.98, but I'm just like a little stressed about my plants. So I'm going to have to buy a bunch of plastic bins and make sure we get like a heated van or something to move. Because the reptiles too, we have to worry about the reptiles. They can't be in the cold either. $14.98 for these. Some cute ferns. We weren't supposed to get a new snake either, but David was like trying to make me feel better. And he's so small, you guys. He's like literally four inches. He's the tiniest little thing I've ever seen in my life. So he's not gonna be difficult to move. <laughs> the other snakes have pretty big enclosures. Okay, all the trending tropicals over here, Monstera and Sonii. I do not know what Costa Farms feeds these things, but they are huge and beautiful. 
get these up a pole as soon as you get them home and their leaves are just going to keep on getting bigger and bigger. You've got a nice head start with these ones. This Aglionema that I never remember the name of even though I constantly see it in like the nurseries and I'm like oh yeah that's what it's called. Golden papaya maybe something like that. I feel like it's got papaya or golden. I'm probably making that up. ZZ Ravens, Monstera Perus, this bird of paradise is gorgeous. Another really common plant that I think doesn't get the love it deserves. Hopefully I can find a variegated one this year. Amplicimum Silver. I don't know if you guys remember the ones we saw with the really wide leaves. I thought those were so strange. This Calathea Dottie is looking pretty sad down there. And then we've got all the terracotta in here. I don't know what fell on these plants, but something was like dripping on them that left a stain. All right, like that doesn't look like poop. I don't think it's poop. Sometimes you see bird poo. Oh, it's a cute little rabbit foot fern. You know, if that looked a little bit better, I'd probably get it. I do think they're really cute and sweet, and I like the terracotta with no drainage, so I would have use for the pot as well, but that's okay. I think these ones are 15, 16, 98 for the philodendron moonlight. I do like these little terracottas. Um, and then we've just got all the cacti and succulents over here, you guys. They don't have anything new since the last time we were here. They have some like pretty epic old man cactus or whatever this is over here. These are actually pretty pricey. If you guys are into cacti, you can actually find some pretty decent stuff at the big box stores and they're always huge like this for 25. You try to grab that in a nursery, it would be a lot. This guy is cute too, a little barrel cactus. Never mad about that. Don't know who needs a glow-in-the-dark cactus. Like, I, don't, I just don't understand how anybody ever thought that was a good idea. They're for non-plant people, I suppose. Okay. Uh, just more assorted foliage from Costa Farms over here. Nothing excited. I do like these little orchid cactus, though. I think they're cute. They get kind of curly. More succulents and such over here. They have these little juniper bonsais. I would love to snag one of these after we move. If I can find a nice, cute one. I'll have to look up. I still haven't looked up care on it, though see what kind of light it wants if we get this place we'll find out hopefully by the end of today I don't know when you guys are gonna see this but we'll have some south facing windows which will be good for my cactus and I can put a couple succulents again I left my succulents with my mom too because I didn't have anywhere to put them um, they do have this Hoya crimson princess never mad about that She's got some new growth. She's not super big, but $20.98 is the new price on these larger hanging baskets from Costa Farms. They raised everything by a dollar again this year. $20.98. Some red maranta down here. Whatever Tritoscantia this is. Some sad looking. <laughs> this poor Marble Queen. It's a shame they don't do clearance because you definitely could rescue some of these staghorn ferns. Still managing to keep mine happy. Lipstick plant, AKA beautiful home decor. <laughs> I don't know what this is, but it's cute. Bibby? Oh, it's a peperomia. That's why it's cute. Peperomias are always cute, but they're kind of a pain in the butt. So there's some dogtail cactus up here another Hoya this one looks a little more full she's so cute and I love the wider leaves on this one again I do not know what Costa Farms is feeding these plants but they are quite beefy a lot of the time you see the more narrow form but it is still 
a carnosa. A carnosa comes in so many forms. Hoya carnosa is one of the most like broad types, I feel like, in terms of like each plant can look vastly different. Um, you'll even get like more narrow leaves on the same plant. So it really depends. I mean, they probably just propagated it from a plant that grew like that and they just keep on going with it. So this is another cute peperomia. It's the older stock is 1999. If you get lucky, this one's really cute. Some more lemon lime. They've got some really cute strawberry begonias. Even though it's not technically a begonia at all. This huge photonia. More golden pothos. These ones definitely look better. There's a cute little lipstick plant down here. Twister lipstick plant. Ascenanthus radicans. Very, very cute. Um, and I think that's pretty much it. Nothing new, but it looks like they're clearing out to bring in new stuff. So if you're in the area, maybe like wait a week, <laughs> like come back and see what they have. I'll definitely be back in a couple of weeks. I feel like I'm on the wrong schedule here every time I come. They're like clearing out to make room. <laughs> this little baby mellow. I love the texture. I have one of these and I'm trying really hard to keep it alive and happy. It's in one of my little like mini greenhouse cabinets with some anthurium seedlings. I'm like, if I can keep anthurium seeds alive and like little baby seedlings, why can't I keep the freaking alocasia happy? It's so frustrating. But anyway, I think that's pretty much it for the Home Depot. I'm gonna grab some other stuff in the store that I need and then we're gonna go to the Lowe's. Ooh, this is huge too. Hopefully they've got something new, maybe, potentially. Okay, Lowe's. Let's hope they have something new at least, right? Okay fam, voiceover Jackie coming at you. We are at the Lowe's in Manchester, Connecticut. They still have some stuff on sale. They had these beautiful Dipenbachia, some really nice orchids. And then over here, they had one of my favorite plants, this darker flower anthurium for $12.98. Big fan of this one. I like the leaves. And it's definitely a more easygoing anthurium. I think it's super cute and super underrated. Some Weird bromeliads, more cute little orchids, definitely never mad about those. I feel like I never show them, so I felt like showing them to you guys a little bit today. Some Dracaena here, and then hiding, I found this Hoya Cartesii hanging basket looking pretty full and healthy, and I am definitely not mad about that. I am mad that it's over here. By itself so I am gonna move it but it's $20.98 for these hanging baskets from Costa Farms like I said they did raise the price by a dollar on their hanging baskets at least from what I can tell and then they did release these recently as well which is the new Wick and Grow containers from Costa Farms and this is the Silver Dragon Alocasia. These ones are $19.98. The old Wick and Grow containers that you'll still see some of over here are, I think, $15 or $16.98 if I'm remembering correctly. I'm not sure if I'm going to show the price, but I'm pretty sure. So I don't know if they're going to be keeping both styles of pot or if they're switching it out. So some begonias here, some amplissimums, uh, the raffidophoras on the board there, ZZ ravens, monstera adansonii, these really pretty aglionema again, lots of syndapsis, philodendron mixed in here with some aglionema, peace lilies, we've got dracaena, all the usual floor plans that you would expect at the big box store for the most part, 
but of course I had to show you even more Hoya Cartesii. This one's looking really nice and silvery. I really love this Hoya. This was tempting for me. I definitely <laughs> was wanting to snag one, but I don't need another one. And I definitely don't need more plants right now or like period. So a closer look at this Syndapsis Trubii Silver. Do you guys remember when we were all going nuts looking for those? $16.98 for this Syndapsis. Looking really nice and healthy and lush. Some of these are definitely newer inventory. Some cute little curly Bonnie spider plants. More Hoya Cartesii. So you definitely have options. And you should definitely not be afraid to come and snag this Hoya if you don't have it. It's really, really cute and it can handle pretty bright light. I have mine directly in a west facing window and it just gets a little bit sun stressed. So some rainbow moss here in this hanging basket as well, looking really cute. More spider plants. This is some sort of Calathea that's really cute, and this is the Old Wick and Grow. Okay, so I did show you. $15.98. I was correct. Sort of. <laughs> so that's the Old Wick and Grow. I don't know if they're going to keep making these. Um, there's tons of snake plants here, sago palms, more bromeliads. I kind of just breezed right on past the succulents. I apologize for that. Um, if you are wanting to see those, some peace lilies here, this cute Aglionema Maria. These are all still the Wick and Grow containers for $15.98. And I just thought this pot behind it was really cute. Don't know why I was trying to put the plant in it, but I thought the pot was cute. I don't know. So some more hanging baskets up here. Another Hoya Cartesii. Of course, you know, I'm going to show you like every single one. They don't all look great there are some that definitely look better than others but for the most part they look decent so i did think that this maranta lemon lime maranta was really pretty i am a sucker for a maranta and i also just love the lemon lime i love the contrast of the green the light green and the dark green is just so pretty to me and i would love to keep one alive one day <laughs> for long enough to actually enjoy it so this one is really nice for $20.98 and of course another Hoya Cartesii what is this like the fourth or fifth one so they definitely have tons and of course if you're not in the central Connecticut area feel free to check your local Lowe's in Home Depot and see maybe if they did get some of the same plants in you never know if you've been looking for a Cartesii I do really hope that people come and snag these. So I was just helping this little syndapsis out that had a piece fallen out of the pot, but it was a really cute one. More assorted foliage from Costa Farms. Nothing out of the ordinary here. All of the usual stuff. Some really nice ferns on the bottom. Golden pothos. And that is really it for this section over here around the corner it looks like we have even more anthurium these really cute little ladybug clips 10 out of 10 recommend cute little ladybug clips or like the little butterfly clips that we used to use in our hair i used those for my hoya on trellises and things like that so some more of the same stuff over here some cute pottery that they had set up never mad about that and they do have like a lot of plants they might not have a wide selection or anything new and exciting but they do have a lot of decently healthy plants to choose from so i'm never mad about that another hoya here and another hoya over here so Definitely Hoya hanging baskets are coming out from Costa Farm. So if you're a Hoya head like me, which I know a lot of you are, definitely go and check your big box stores if you've been looking for any of these Hoya and you just haven't been able to spot one in your area yet. So more assorted foliage here, same stuff as usual. Tons of Dracaena, lots of Diphenbachia. 
we have some ficus bonsais, ponytail palms, the lucky bamboo, which is just Dracaena, really cute little variegated ones. And then up here, they had this regular green Maranta, sometimes they call it the rabbit, I think rabbit foot or something like that. But it is really cute for $16.98. They had a pretty nice looking Marble Queen Pothos, lots of Syndapsis, Golden Pothos, they had some Hartley Philodendron, which is always nice to see mixed in. I wonder if they'll ever have variegated Hartley Philodendron in the big box stores. You hardly even see Brazil, to be honest, so who knows? but they've got every Maranta variety hanging up over here, $14.98. You've got regular green, red Maranta, more regular green, but this one has some sneaky little sport variegation. You see those little stripes of variegation on there, super cute. Doesn't look like anything else on the plant has it, but hey, you never know. And it is pretty common to find on those, so definitely always look doesn't hurt to look especially if you can get it on the cheap it's still cute when it's not variegated so I feel like it's worth it but that is just my personal opinion there are some sad looking Anthurium super bum down here and these are also some wick and grow style self-watering containers from live trends and then we've got all the terracotta hanging baskets here different pothos varieties. This is the Pearls and Jade, and these ones are $23.98 for the larger ones. There's some uh, Neon Pothos hiding in there. Lots of Dracaena. This is a cute Neon Pothos. I love when it has like little splashes of variegation on it. Super duper cute. Hamalamina Selby hiding back here. Another one that I really like some peperomia obtusifolia variegated hiding in there calathea orbifolia more dracaena i do like these pots though i don't know if you guys do but i think they're pretty cute and then i haven't seen this before 22.98 for these larger pots from urban jungle and i was just curious it looks kind of like i don't know like a cast iron plant or something along those lines but it has this really cool fishtail vibe to it. And the tag said alocasia, so I thought that it had the wrong tag, so I grabbed the other one, and the other one also said alocasia. So um, I'm not 100% positive. I don't, I don't feel like this looks like an alocasia, <laughs> but you guys let me know in the comments below if you know what it is. I haven't looked it up yet. This is an alocasia. I know that for sure, but I have no idea what that other one is. This is a really cute little pinkish red Aglionema in these newer Wiccan grows, some ZZs, and then some hanging planters here from Urban Jungle for $14.98 with a little parlor palm hiding in that one. And this pretty sad alocasia in this one that should probably be on the clearance rack and probably will be very soon so and then of course another oh yeah curtisii this one's got some yellowing leaves but honestly trim it back when you get it home and it'll be fine this himalamina was really nice and i liked the pot 1998 i'm actually low-key kind of mad that i didn't get this because again i'm moving soon and I really don't need more plants but I really like that one and that's one I want to replace and I like the pot uh, and that was a good price and it looked pretty healthy and uh, I'm not going to go back for it so hopefully somebody gets it and loves it <laughs> and enjoys it and hopefully I can find another similar one after we're all settled in and I'm ready to replace some of my favorite more common plants that i've lost recently so clearance rack over here some sad african violets some really sad really really sad looking i think this is tenanthi some it's related to 
prayer plants. Like, I, I genuinely don't know, but there's nothing really good here. I usually look for pottery. They did have one of these cute hanging baskets. If somebody liked this pot, there are some rhizomes in there. It's an alocasia. If you throw those in water, you might be able to grow something. But otherwise, I usually just look for cute pots with dead plants in them. So that first courtesy I was definitely the cutest. And then we have our little setup out over by the self-checkout. They have the Hoya Kamingiana on these heart trellises super cute i think they're 18.98 something along those lines from urban jungle they have some cute crocodile ferns never mad at those and then some more hanging plants here nothing that we haven't seen already different maranta varieties lots of pothos never a shortage of pothos in the big box stores cute little monstera here and that is it for Lowe's. Okay, fam. So that was the Lowe's in Manchester, Connecticut. They had stuff. I mean, they had all those Cartesii, which like, please come and buy them, you guys, if you're in the area. I was very tempted to get one, but like I said, I'm literally about to move. So like the less plants I have to move with, the better. But that was very tempting because they look, majority of them look really good. I do expect like some yellowing leaves and dying back vines because it's lows, but they look still pretty fresh and healthy and full. So definitely don't hesitate to come and snag them. Cartesii is more of like a creeper or a crawler than it is a trailing plant. So I do feel like a lot of people have a hard time with smaller plants and with cuttings. So if you can get your hands on like a big fully established plant, 10 out of 10 recommend doing that. I have two <laughs> at home. Uh, one of them looks kind of beat, so I'll probably get rid of it and just keep the one. But, um, that, that was, that was tempting because they were really nice. They had some syndapsis hanging baskets, some really cute curly bunny spider plants. Um, let me know in the comments below if you guys saw anything that you would have snagged. Nothing new, unfortunately. Still not finding any of this new stuff. There's no Walmart around here or else I would go and look, but I really don't have high hopes for it. I'm thinking I might pop down to Southington at some point this week and take you guys with me, obviously, because there is a Walmart there that doesn't suck. And maybe, just maybe, <laughs> they have some of these newer plants that people have been finding like exclusively at Walmart. So that is it for this video, fam. I hope you enjoyed hanging out with me today. I enjoyed hanging out with you guys today. It feels good to get out. It's sunny out. It's not super cold. And overall, not a bad day. So you should definitely give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything from me. There's a join button down there if you guys want to be part of the official plant fam so you can see those members only videos. I'm trying my best to get back into uploading them every Monday like I used to or at least every other Monday. I try to give you guys at least like two members only videos a month. I've just been like I said a little behind and a little <laughs> things have been a little hectic but hopefully all of that insanity will be done with soon. <laughs> it's gonna get more crazy <laughs> before it gets calm but I guess to take you guys along with me for the journey, I will have my own plant room at the new place if we get it. And um, you get to watch me set that whole thing up. So I love you guys so, so very much. Um, definitely don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. The stuff That all really helps the algorithm. It helps me out a lot for sure. And um, if you watch this whole entire video, leave me house emojis. Send me all the good, all the good vibes that we get this house. And I can't wait to show it to you guys if we do. So I love you so, so very much. I hope you're having a beautiful day wherever you are out there in the world. Don't forget to spread kindness, like it says on my shirt. <laughs> Don't forget to drink your water. And I will see you guys. Bye.